Guys, this is Mr. Joshy J, and this is your preview to Tottenham Hotspur versus Manchester United in the Premier League. Kickoff time in the UK, 5:30 p.m. live on Sky Sports. Now, going into this game, Manchester United must have put up a much better performance than what they showed in their opening fixture against Wolves. I mean, Manchester United were just terrible against Wolves in the opening match of the season. But this is the lineup I'll go in. I'll see Tottenham be looking to perform well as well because I'll see Harry Kane's gone. And I thought they were quite decent against Brentford, to be fair. So this is the lineup I'll go in for Manchester United in goal. Andre Onana, right back, and Wan Basaka. Centre backs Martinez, Rafael Moran. Now Martinez didn't have the best of games against Wolves. He got substituted because he was given the yellow card. Left back Luke Shaw, centre defence midfield Casemiro. Then in the midfield Mason Mount, Bruno Fernandez. I guess Anthony will play. Ganacho and Marcus Rashford. Yes, that's the lineup I'll go with now. Against the Wolves, that was just a very sluggish performance. I don't get what was going on with Manchester United. To me, they just looked completely off it. There's only a few players who played well, I feel, in the Wolves game. And that was Casemiro. Bruno Fernandes and Rafael Moran, who obviously got the winner. Yes, I'm wearing the new Manchester United third kit. Well, I got off the said the best. You not check that review out, please check it out. But yeah, all I want to do is Manchester United just to show a bit of fight why they want to do well this season. Because what I saw against Wolves... We should have got absolutely battered and we cannot afford to play like that against Tottenham. Otherwise, they will batter us, you know. There's no way they would have missed the amount of chances what Wolves missed. So, yeah, Manchester United need to step it up a big time in this one. I know Tottenham Hots have lost Harry Kane, but they still got Richardson, Son Yong Min, Emerson Royale. So, yeah, it will be tough for Manchester United. They really got to play well. They really have. There are no excuses. It's time for Manchester United to step it up to the plate. It really is. And show that you're ready. Because it looked like we're still in pre-season the way we played against Wolves. It's just absolutely abysmal, honestly. Just absolutely terrible. No excuses for that whatsoever by Manchester United. Nowhere near good enough. But I'm sure Eric Ten Hag will absolutely rip into his players that he demands a much better performance because I definitely like they do and most Manchester United fans absolutely demands that we have a much better performance. But yeah, I mean, wow. Just everyone just looks so sluggish, like we were still playing it on the US store. It's not the US store anymore, it's the start of the Premier League season. So you got to up your game, otherwise, we will not be getting top four in this season. It's as simple as that. But Manchester United, I hope Marcus Rashford can score a few goals, and also. I hope Ganacho has a good game as well when he's starting because I thought he's very poor against Wolves on Monday night. I really did. I'm a huge fan of Ganacho, but he was shocking. I mean, wow, unbelievable. But obviously, Tottenham, Rich Arneson, it's time for Rich Arneson to step it up for Tottenham Hotspur. You know, Harry Kane's gone and they need Rich Arneson to up the tempo and started scoring a lot of goals for them. I mean, the performance against Brentford was really good, I thought, by Tottenham. They're moving the ball at the pitch much more, something they weren't doing 
last season Tottenham. It's like Conte when he's manager completely lost in the dressing ring. And there's just no leadership at all at Tottenham last season. But under Ange Postelago, he did very well at Celtic, winning the treble. But obviously the Premier League is a much harder test. I think he would have been very happy what he saw at Brentford on Sunday. Now he'd be looking to build on it. There's no doubt he would want to be demanding more now, like what Eric Ten Hag does with the Manchester United players. That Sonia Men and Rich Arneson, if they can form a good partnership, I believe Tottenham Hotspur will be absolutely fine. I believe they will do a good job. Hugo Lloris gone now. Now, the backup goalkeeper, or Tottenham Hotspur's new goalkeeper, he looks a bit shaky, you know, he looks a bit nervous. Whether it's because it was his first game or making his Premier League debut, or whatever, but... Yeah, he just didn't look that confident at all, that Tottenham Hotspur goalkeeper. So, I think that will be a bit of a concern for Tottenham. Also, defensively, last season, Tottenham were shambolic. I actually thought at times they defended quite decent against Brentford. So, they have got a solid team, Tottenham Hotspur, which is why Manchester United cannot take this game for granted. They really can't, and... Like I said, if we perform like we did against Wolves, we are in big trouble in this match. We really are. My score prediction for this one, I'm going for a 2-1 victory to Manchester United. I think it will be a very nervy game, very intense, because obviously it's early on in the season and both teams may not be up to full fitness yet. Well, like I said, it still felt like we're actually on... Pre-season tour in the way we played the young lights. Shocking, honestly. But hopefully, when Hoyland is fit, we can have another striker up front. Because Rashford, he's a bit isolated up front. Because he doesn't really get the service. But he needs to start doing more himself. I mean, there are no excuses. He's experienced enough to start stepping it up. And doing it on its own. On his own. I mean... Last season, he did very well to score them goals, but you need more from Marcus Rashford. There are no excuses. As I put in the thumbnail, Rich Arneson needs more movement. He needs to be moving around more and getting into dangerous areas for Tottenham, like a beautiful ball is whipped in, head it into the net or something, like what Harry Kane used to do, because no doubt Tottenham are going to miss that now. So if Rich Arneson can replicates that that would be absolutely superb for rich Allison. and obviously being brazilian as well i like rich Allison because brazil are my second favorite international team so yeah i really hope rich Allison does well this season for tottenham as i said to manchester united once hoyland comes in we can hopefully get him scoring a few goals but until he makes his debut, we have no idea how he's going to perform in that. Because obviously, he is injured still. So, I think he'll be available maybe next week or something. But, got, but not for the game this weekend. Which is a bit of a shame. Because obviously, we are going to see Marshall. But he's made a fucking glass, you know. Always injured. It's like, ah, oh, I am gutted for Marshall though. But... Again, another one he's not really dealing with after paying out so much big money for. But anyway, I'm buzzing for this game. Uh, such a big fixture earlier on in the season is going to be a huge test for Manchester United. Obviously, the Tottenham crowds are young for it. I got a subscriber who's a Tottenham fan. Me, myself, and Aston Burgers. Be interesting to hear. Your thoughts, what you think the score is going to be. Like I said, my score prediction is 2-1 to Manchester United. I just want the team to show that they are here to win. They are here to compete for Premier League titles. Not just row over, like, where we almost got absolutely annihilated in the midfield. It's bad enough we had to call the cops. <laughs> but, yeah... Just put that behind us and let's focus on this game. 
comment your thoughts down below. I will always reply. And I really hope you are liking my refreshed thumbnails for this season. I think they look absolutely amazing. And the views for Manchester United videos are doing really, really well in the moment. So thank you very much. If you are a Manchester United fan, hit that subscribe button to see more previews, pre-match YouTube shorts and match reaction videos where I react to the match right after the game is finished. Well, I try and get it out after the game, but sometimes it's not always possible to. But I, I always upload on match days anyway. So comment your thoughts down below. I will always reply. And just a quick reminder, player ratings I do in a single video in this season. So that's another reason why you would like to come on board to this channel. Bye-bye.